Willkommen zurück zur Auf äh, Aufgabe der Reaufnahme. Genau. Was wir natürlich gemacht haben, wir haben diese Blätterchen und sowas gesammelt. Es sind ein Türklick äh, hochgeklappert. Nein, wir machen jetzt natürlich erstmal die Großteil dieser der Missionsaufgaben, dass wir dann zu dem, Zeit äh, zu dem Punkt kommen, wo mich dann die Aufnahmesession verlassen hat, also die Videodatei. Damit wir ein äh, einfach möglichst ja, einen smoothen Übergang haben. Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Caffrey, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What have you local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Then off to Benjamin Church. Oh, jetzt sitzt er da wieder ganz friedlich. So als wäre nichts gewesen. Er weiß, wie man in geschlossene Türen reinkommt. Charles? Sir? Immer dieser, dieses englische Problem der Höflichkeit. Oh, jetzt müssen wir ein paar Leute belauschen, das ist ja ganz in Ordnung. Okay. Genau. Wir sollen jetzt darüber gehen und äh, danke. Ja, genau, da bin ich doch gerade hingegangen. Ruf mich wie los Civilians. Äh, geht doch. Manchmal haben die Mission ein bisschen was. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. So, Ja, 
vielleicht nicht ganz so weit. <lacht> Schade. Ich dachte das gerade. Tut es aber nicht. Ja, wir sollen da hinten auf dem Kirchturm. So. Das tut weh. Ja. Ich finde das saugeil, was hier alles so rumrennt. Also, die Ratte, die man eben gesehen hat, die Hunde rennen rum. Schafe. Das schaut richtig nach einer echten ja, Koloniestadt aus. Ich sollte nicht dran vorbei rennen. Was zum? Kletter halt hoch. Das ist doch das richtige Blut. Ich werde natürlich nicht, jetzt nicht alles so genau machen können, wie ich es vorher gemacht habe. Wie zum Beispiel die ganzen Spiele, die, die ich ausprobiert habe, die äh, probiere ich jetzt nicht aus. Das äh, müsst ihr dann leider na, äh, live nachgucken. Die Session ist ja nicht so lange her, die wird jetzt noch ein paar Tage lang online sein. Und dann könnt ihr die komplette Session nachsehen. Die geht nur etwas länger. <lacht> Aber macht das ruhig. Habe genug gehört, jetzt gehen wir mal. Dann komm doch. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing. It forms the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses. And we begin to know the world in a different way. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Ah gut, äh, Remain Antidicted ist äh, noch nicht ganz so. Ah, 
Nein, machen wir das. Die Tür auf, dann passt das. Ich muss den Schlüssel finden. Warte hier. Ha, das ist mein Schlüssel jetzt. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas. I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <gasps> So, geht doch. Schneller ist die Rettete. Who are you? Hatham Kenway, Natural Service. I, I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Ich wäre sehr dankbar dafür, dass er mich gerettet hat. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. Beginnen wir die Mission auf Patrick. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. 
When I'm not attending to you, of course. yourself or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? you'll allow me to explain. <laughs> oh, oh, by all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir. It's, it's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Ja, das ist eine eindeutige Einladung. Zu gehen. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage. One he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found. All of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be, when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end.